Hey guys, what's up? It's Oink, and today I'm going to be doing a, another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a Twixer tutorial as requested by Droopy. So, let's get right into the tutorial, guys. Alright, so Twixer is a very specific kind of effect. No other effect is similar to it from what I've experienced. So, what it is, is allowing your clips to be smoother, depending on your frame rate, and longer lasting. So pretty much you can make a slow motion effect that lasts longer than the original clip does depending on the time frame and like how intense the scene itself is but it's it's a very useful tool i use it in every single edit i make and i love using twister all right guys first things first we're going to cut up our clip i have it laid out already and we're going to cut it up by the frames that there is motion or change so i'm going to start skipping through the frames here and every time i see the characters shift in position a little bit i'm going to cut the frame as you guys can see here i'm cutting the frames into a separate um thing here i'm chopping them up into different layers all right when you got all your clips cut up select the bottom layer go all the way to the top hold shift and then click your top layer then what you're going to do is um go against one of your layers here any of them and you'll see like the uh, two arrows pointing in each direction make sure you're on the right side of it and then drag all the way to the left as you can see all your clips will then be put down to one frame then go to right click then right click go to keyframe assist and go to sequence layers then hit okay now you're going all your layers are going to be one frame from each other so like there's no frames in between that are missing um now we're going to pre-compose this layer and make sure that move all attributes is selected even though i can't select it but and then make sure the adjustment composition duration time span of the selected layers is unchecked then hit okay then we're going to add our Twixter. So search up Twixter in the effects and presets bar. Then we're going to grab Twixter Pro, put that onto your clip, and now we're going to mess with some of the settings. So take the warping and turn that forward. Take your image prep and change that to contrast slash edge enhance. And then take your speed percent and change that to seven. And as you'll see, your clip is now visible to you. Like it, before it was only visible with those couple frames, but now it's all the way over here. Like you, it, has, it has way more time to it so we're gonna find where the image starts to distort like this and right before that starts to happen we're gonna cut our frame by hitting Control shift d now we're gonna pre-compose our layer again and this time still make sure all the um move all attributes is selected but check this box now for the adjust composition duration now you'll see your clip is um cut down to just this time span hit Control alt t to bring up time remapping and let's say i want the clip to be around two seconds long i'm gonna drag it to there i'm gonna delete the or i'm gonna cut the layer and then delete the, like the second half so that i don't have the extra bits and then i'm going to um hit f9 to easy ease and i'm now going to just mess with my graph to make it look better you guys i do a graph similar to mine but mess with the graphs as you graphs as you wish but you also don't have to even mess with the graphs um so now We'll look at our clip and we'll see how it looks all right guys so here's our clip i think it looks really smooth i'd love to use this for an edit and um there you guys go twixter is honestly it's more of a um like a knowledge thing rather than it's hard to do and it's a bit time consuming depending on how long your clip is but it's definitely well worth it for the quality that you'll get back from it so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll talk to you guys later peace out